So in the next few videos, we're going to move on to talk about uh, stresses in soils. Um, but first, let's just recap quickly what a stress is. Um, now, and it's important to think about uh, uh, stresses in soils because that's what soils respond to. Um, it's not uh, the forces, but, but it's the, the area over which the forces are, are spread. So that's what stress is. That's the definition of stress. It's the force over the area. So stress is equal to force over area. So the units of stress would really be in force over area, not kilonewtons per meter squared. When we're talking about uh, normal forces in soils, we use uh, the symbol um, sigma. Um, it's, when we're talking about shear stresses, uh, the, the symbol we use is tau. Um, but we'll come back to shear stresses later. So, so how do materials uh, respond to changes in stress? Well, uh, what they do is they deform, so they change shape or they change volume. Um, and you can measure that change in shape through something called strain. Um, so if we're just looking at um, strain in one dimension, so strain, um, and that's equal to the uh, change in length over the original length. So if I had a spring, and I uh, added stress to that spring, so I pulled it apart. Um, the strain I would I would be uh, the, the strain that the spring would be um, uh, subjected to would be the change in length, so how much I displaced it, by, divided by its original length, and that's given the the symbol uh, epsilon um, or gamma. Gamma, if we're talking about uh, shear strain and epsilon if we're talking about volumetric strain. So um, a stress strain diagram, a stress strain graph is uh, plotted on these axes, so where we have stress on the y-axis and strain on the x-axis. Um, and before we subject a material to any stress, um, it would be down here, so there'll be zero stress on it and it will have zero strain. Uh, when we subject it to some stress, it would have follow some sort of relationship between stress and strain. And that relationship is governed by something called Young's modulus of elasticity. Um, so this straight line uh, part of the graph is uh, elastic deformation. Um, uh, so if I, for instance, if I loaded a, a spring up, if I increased... Uh, the length of the spring by putting stress into it. If I then let that spring go, it should deform back down to its original point. So this is uh, elastic deformation. Um, and the uh, gradient of that line, so the change in stress over the change in strain, is equal to Young's modulus of elasticity, which we give the uh, symbol E. Um, So, if we keep uh, adding stress to it, most materials will then go through a point where they, they, um, they eventually start straining with very small uh, increments of stress. So they will... Um, they will reach uh, something called plastic deformation, where if we then, if we got to this point, and we uh, took the... Uh, the load off. Um, it would not return back down to its original position, but deform back to some point here uh, where there was irreversible uh, strain. So that's the, the plastic deformation. And eventually you would get to a point where the material, material would fail or, or, or fracture. So one way I think is quite helpful to think about it is um, if you take a stress value um, and you multiply it by the change in volume that the material is um, exerting, 
or is experienced, the change in volume that the material is experiencing. And if you look at the units of those, so stress has units of, it's a kilonewtons per meter squared, and the change in volume has units of meters cubed. The units that we're left with are kilonewton meters, which is uh, the units of energy. The kilonewton meter is the same as a kilojoule. So the relationship between stress um, and the change in volume and the strain in the material is really a, um, a way of talking about how much energy that the material has absorbed. I think that's a useful way of thinking about it. So we're going to come back to thinking about displacements um, when we, we talk about settlement and consolidation within soils. Um, but uh, let's uh, think a little bit more about stress.